Hey guys, welcome. Sims Chic with the speed build today. This is a renovated default house, as I'm sure you saw from the title. Um, it's the house that comes in the neighborhood. It's like the greenery neighborhood. I forget what it's called. Um, I've been playing this game for like five years and I can't remember what the neighborhood's called, but it is um, the neighborhood that comes with the base game. And when I do these um, houses, like renovating them, I like to keep the shell the same on the outside, um, not touch any walls inside and out and leave the roofing the same. So yeah, going into this, I didn't really have like a vision. I just kind of started playing around with the outside of it and I really liked the um, siding I was using. It's from Seasons. I really wanted to kind of go for that cabin look. Um, I haven't really done a like cabin look ever really and I kind of thought this would be perfect even though it's not really like shaped like a cabin but I wanted to give it that feel that like kind of is like that um, and I just I use everything I use on the outside like um, those columns, the stairs, the foundation, the siding like I said, the door, that is all from the seasons which um, I love that pack by the way. They did a fantastic job <laughs> but yeah I really love this color scheme. It took me a minute to get there but I really like it and so right now the door is um, placed where you see it and when I go inside to look at the floor plan I see that the door is like cutting into the bedroom and so I do end up moving the door which we will talk about in a second <laughs> but also I recently got a little upgrade on like my computer so when I am like watching the speed builds back I can actually see like real-time footage what you guys are seeing um before I would just see like snippets and it would like move like a snail it was like screenshots almost I was like watching in a video so <laughs> this is so awesome I am I feel more confident talking to you guys about the build as well because like I can talk to you about like what's going on and I know like exactly what's going on as well so yeah and we are in like the mudroom area so like I said I moved this door and I realized that this is the bedroom technically of this house and I decided to switch it up so I made this like the entry like mudroom area and I put that little doorway there because like I said not touching the walls but like I can replace doors and whatnot so I figured I put it like a doorway here and I ended up putting the bedroom in like the living space so some people might not like that but I thought it's a really cool concept and like I don't know it was just different and I didn't want to use a different door I really liked the exterior and so kind of just went with the flow um what's what, what's the word I'm looking for uh it's like dealt with the cards I was handed um just made it work I don't know <laughs> but yeah and I also never do a laundry room in the game I'm not a big like laundry fan in the sims I just constantly feel like the washer or dryer is never working or like electrocution or the clothes are dirty I don't know it drives me freaking nuts so I never use the laundry in the game really I'm sorry but I love the laundry day pack <laughs> So I put those in there and um, just just loving the vibe of this room. Um, and I also, I, I don't know if I told you guys about the couple I was thinking that lived here. I was thinking that like, like an adventurous, um, pet friendly, outgoing, outdoorsy couple lives here. So I kind of wanted to reflect that in their house. And I feel like, you know, cabin, the cabin look especially, like I wanted to make the inside kind of like an older home look lots of like dark wood tones and that sort of thing so then I put this fish tank in there again because they love pets so I thought that um, they should have fish so I put that in there and that is from um, is that from cats and dogs expansion pack I think it is so I definitely like that and then just putting some towels up on the laundry shelf um, just you know making it look a little more homey lived in um i'm really big about that in the game that sort of thing so yeah we're almost done in this like entry room area just 
like I said, really wanted to like clutter it up and just adding like elements of like making it feel like, um, like home. Yeah. So we are finally on the like living room slash bedroom area. I'm really excited about this to show you guys. Um, I have been working on this build for like past two days and like I said, I was just so excited. Couldn't wait to show you. So yeah, I was thinking two pets lived here, like a cat and a dog, um, or like two dogs, two cats, whatever you prefer, but definitely like two pets lived here. Um, and the little food bowls fit perfectly in that corner and I was gonna make like a little nook over there eventually. So this is where the bed goes and um, <laughs> I was trying so hard to make like a new bed look in the game but when I went to play test it it did not work <laughs> it is the bed from city living on the bottom and then I raised the is it the other bed that we got with city living or seasons baby I don't know but I took I put two beds on top of each other and then I raised one and it just kind of gave it that look of like a new bed in the game but like I said play tested it didn't work so yeah and um, I was playing around with the layout at first. I eventually put the bed back where it was. I was just kind of like having a difficult time like seeing the vision of this room. Um, eventually, like I get it obviously, but <laughs> it was definitely like a struggle because I don't know, like when I just saw this house, I didn't think I would be putting the bed in like the living room. Definitely just kind of thought the bed would go back in the bedroom. So um, definitely like a game changer but it's cool and then I thought like those books in that like suitcase and then the front end of like that truck um, just like added to like the house and like I feel like described their personalities and um, but yeah that sort of thing also the TV stand um, that you see right now I keep that but that's not the point of <laughs> the comment I keep that um, just nothing on it I kind of felt that I put a lot of objects in this house and I seen that I didn't really clutter up that TV stand and honestly guys I just thought it's fine it can be simple um it actually like doesn't look bad but um just have to like comment and touch up on that but yeah and then these curtains I really like them they um they really go with the home well and I feel like it kind of gives it that, again, vibe of, like, the bulky, bulky curtain and, like, older style looking curtain just kind of, like, fits with the whole build. Um, but, yeah, and just playing around with this window curtain area <laughs> for a minute. It took a while, but I had to downsize it, actually, two times to get it to actually look decent. And I mean, like... Some people might think it looks a little funky, but I really like it. And I really wanted to keep like the curtain look the same throughout the entire house. Um, and as you guys can kind of see, I have like a lot of um, like brown tones and like blues. That's like kind of like the main um, color scheme in the house. Uh, the blue just kind of like says like the color of the sky. And oh, also I have a few elements of yellow. And again, yellow the sun. So again, just kind of like keeping like bring like nature colors in sort of so to speak because like I said earlier I was thinking like an outdoorsy couple that lives here and just like I said one or two really like, reflect that and like cluttering up this bookcase like maybe things they've like collected over time I was actually thinking like like older young adults like that are about to age up live here or like adults maybe they've you know graduated college they've um you know seen the world and travel together and they have like all these items they've collected in the house and um that's just like what i was envisioning when i was like designing this and i just really love how it turns out um and i know i'm putting those pictures like in the bookshelf and some of you might be thinking like how are we gonna see those but i just like the look of like having pictures on the wall back there because the bookcase doesn't have like a back so you can kind of like add little things to it so um <laughs> but yeah and then I start the bedroom and I was thinking like each side 
had oh, my cat scared me <laughs> i was thinking each side like they had like their own like closet space where they kept their clothes i absolutely love those end tables from um seasons i use a lot of season stuff in here and i eventually changed that bed to the bed i know for sure <laughs> came from seasons um yeah, everything is play tested, guys. No worries. Your sim can get back here and sleep and whatnot. Um, I will say this though: the um, animal beds are not play tested. Little FYI. But yes, um, just kind of like just trying to really make it feel like a bedroom. And like these room dividers that I'm using, they I feel like kind of like close it off and give it that concept of like having privacy and like whatnot so they can like definitely like change back there if they want to or if they have like you know somebody over it's like they have like that separate space in a way I don't know that's just kind of like what I was thinking um but yeah I just love the color scheme of this house and just it's adorable just so 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 cute oh and I was kind of thinking maybe like yeah they travel but like maybe they're workaholics as well because i do put like a few like paper files down on the ground as they go out th throughout the build like maybe they work from home Ooh, i like that and that's how they're able to travel maybe hmm, i like that a lot okay okay um <laughs> those lamps are from seasons as well guys the season expansion it can't go wrong it's like they did that pack like perfectly and then like university i just i just feel like a university could have been a little bit better like gameplay wise maybe i don't know i haven't really got to play around with it a whole whole lot i just it seems like it reminds me of laundry in the game just everything seems like it takes a lot so like when i say that i it seems like takes like a long time to graduate and I also don't like that it takes up the young adult or just takes up how do I say it it like takes up their like lifespan like I don't know like in sims 2 like they didn't age up they had like a period where like they were in college like it didn't count for their lifespan maybe I'm wrong but that's just kind of like how I felt and um i don't know i don't know guys but let's get back to the build enough enough of that so we are on the living room i love making that table um lamp area kind of reminds me of from like back in like the early 2000s i remember that we had like a lamp table <laughs> um like two of them in our living room and so whenever i make those i always think of that and so I kind of think of think of it out as of like kind of like outdated. <laughs> so I put that in there, and then I made this like wall of like maybe things again they've collected um, as they've traveled places, and just like that sort of thing, just showing off their um, lovely items <laughs> and like where they've been, like storytelling, that sort of thing. And oh. That little um, pirate ship steer, you know, that little thing on the wall. <laughs> that is from Cats and Dogs as well. And I never really used that. And I actually used it in my Pops and Mom apartment. Um, I'll link that up in the corner. Let me write that down so I know to link it in the corner. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's from Cats and Dogs. And I used it in that apartment. And I just... I've really been liking it. I love just, like, when I, like, make content, I just am always, like, looking for items, like, that I haven't really used in, a, like, a long time or never really, like, how can I use this item? And then, oh, putting those little candles <laughs> from Laundry Day on top of those bookcases. I love how that looks. So adorable. And those candles are, like, my favorite, um, one of my favorite lights in, in the game, so... And then here you see me creating the little nook for the pets, put some treats on there for them, just kind of like made it their own little area. I know I put the food by the front door, but I just like the food there. So I don't know. <laughs> 
And then a plant, of course. You can never go wrong with a plant, guys. But, yeah, like I said, just... I did not play test the cat bed by the bedroom area. Just FYI, guys. <laughs> uh, the food, I'm hoping, is accessible. I don't think anything should be in the way. But, yeah. And then we're on the kitchen. I definitely thought that the base game refrigerator and stove definitely fit in with the theme of this house and um, the kitchen was actually like the easiest part. No, I take that back. The kitchen and the bathroom were like the easiest part of this, part of this game. I think I just kind of had like a, a vision going in already of what I wanted and it took me like no time at all. So I was really happy about that. Um, these cabinets from Parenthood just also fit really well. I was thinking about doing a darker kind of cabinet, but I'm happy I stuck with the light. The um, tile that I pick for the kitchen I think goes really well with the cabinets as well. It, it just fits well with this whole room. Like I put the same tile, um, <clears throat> I put the same tile on the floor that is in the kitchen in the bathroom, and then the same tile that's in the kitchen on the walls in the bathroom as well. So like they're both matching, kind of keep the color scheme going, and it just looks so good. It's that blue, and again, like I said, the color scheme of this house. It's like those browns and those blues. So yeah, like I said, just, just so happy with how this turns out. I love doing these. Um, can't wait to do another one. <laughs> and then the bathroom. We're almost done actually, but the bathroom, um, again, took no time at all. And it's so small as well. But everything, um, not everything, but like the toilet, the sink, and the shower, all from Seasons. Like I said, guys, great pack. <gasps> Oh my gosh and then I saw that mirror from seasons and I was like I gotta put that somewhere in here I feel like that was definitely something that they would like have in their house it just kind of like I don't know said them maybe yeah <laughs> and I play tested the toilet because that hamper was in front of it and um, the toilet works so good news <laughs> and you see me kind of put like that little yellow towel rack in there just like trying to bring like colors from nature um colors from nature inside <laughs> i kind of just like had a, like a brain fart so sorry about that and then i put like his and hers little shower caddies in the bathroom so i thought that was so cute and then i went back to his kitchen and i thought it just felt like something was missing and then i put those little flower hanging pots in there from tiny living and i thought that was like the perfect touch and I was just so happy with it and yeah so we're finally on the outside of the house <laughs> um and this took no time at all again I was just really thinking just very greenery um this house kind of reminds me of a log cabin so I definitely wanted to make sure that there was like you know some trees in there and that sort of thing and I just put like a little fire pit with a couple seats around it so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this build Make sure you stay around until the end because there's always a walkthrough. And also wanted to say welcome to my new subscribers. Um, we're almost at 100. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, thank you so much, guys, for um, just, like, hanging in there with me um, as I learn about, like, YouTube and making videos and content and um, that sort of thing. But, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber and you just stopped by to watch this video make sure you do hit that subscribe button and that bell to get notified when I upload. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great morning, night, day, afternoon, wherever you are. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.